friends, it's Miss Elise. Are you ready for another story? Here's Purplelicious. I was in creative arts, painting a picture. What are you painting? asked Kendra. It's a picture of a sunset, I said. Ew, it's so ugly. Pinkalicious, why does everything you paint have to have the color pink in it? asked Tara. Because pink's my favorite color, I answered. Don't you know that pink is passé? Passé is French for over, said Brittany. The new color is black. All the girls like black now. Black is in, said Beatrice during recess. Pink is putrid, announced Pauline while dangling from the monkey bars. Yeah, pink stinks, added Sophia. On the bus ride home from school, no one would sit with me. Pink is for babies and little girls. We aren't going to be friends with a baby, said Tiffany. You don't have to be a baby or a little girl to like the color pink. Pink is for everyone. Even my brother likes pink, I said. How funny, a boy who likes pink. Everyone on the bus laughed. Isn't it time you moved beyond pink? After school, no one would play princess with me. I went to my room and counted all my pink things. I had a pink phone, a pink crayon, a pink piggy bank, pink underwear, a pink tiara, even a giant pink bunny. I had more than 100 pink possessions. The only black thing I had was an ugly plastic spider left over from Halloween. I wrote with my pink pen in my pink diary. Monday, pink is still perfect. That week after the girls teased me in school, I wrote in my diary every day. Then I cried into my pink hanky. Tuesday, I am who I am and I like pink. Wednesday, pink makes me happy, but mean girls make me sad. Thursday, pink is a lonely color. Friday, pink has no purpose. On Saturday, Mommy, Daddy, Peter, and I went to get ice cream to cheer me up. Pinkalicious, what would you like? Asked Mr. Swizzle. Magenta mint mango? Or perhaps you would enjoy pink passion fruit paradise? Today's special flavor is pleasing pomegranate punch. No thanks. I'll just have... Um, vanilla. I sighed, looking around to see who might see me from school. How about you, Peter? Would you like your usual plum pink perfection? Yes, thank you, said Peter. You're such a baby, Peter. Pink ice cream's for babies. Pinkalicious, aren't you going to eat your ice cream? Asked Mommy. Well, I'm not that hungry. The ice cream tasted bland to me. I couldn't possibly eat it. Pinkalicious has the blues, Daddy said that night when I wouldn't play ping pong with him. What does it mean when you have the blues? I asked. It means that you feel sad. But why do you feel sad? No one will play with me because I like the color pink. All the girls like the color black now, and I don't. Are you sure all the girls like black? Maybe there are other kids who like pink too. Everyone hates pink. You don't know anything, I screamed, running to my room. I'm the only one in the whole wide world who likes pink. I am all alone. No one understands me, I said to myself. On Monday, I noticed a girl in creative arts she was painting a beautiful picture. What are you painting? I asked. It's a picture of a cake, but the blue frosting doesn't look right. I think I need some pink and then it will be perfect. Really? I asked. You like pink? Don't you think pink is for babies? Pink is perfect, she answered. Watch this and you'll see why. She mixed the pink paint into the blue and the frosting turned purple. Pink is powerful, she said. Look, 
it turned blue into purple. Hmm, purple's pretty, I said. Not just pretty, it's purplicious. The end. I hope you all enjoyed that story. Bye!